I'm starting um, Tough Fresh Tzadik Hay, even though that's not where it starts, but that's where I start. Okay, starting over here. And I would like to do, I like to read a piece of Abbas Yosef. So I believe that there's a good place to start. Welcome to Purim, people. That's uh, oh now. I, I would just like to look at the Shulchan Aruch for a second and point out that this Mishnah is almost like Purim-like as we start. Usually, the Beis Yisuf says something. And then the Ramah comments, argues about that which was said. Usually his comments are post a statement, not pre a statement. And here we have Shulchan uh, that the Ramah decided to put something in first. It's called the Venahapachu, right? That's a special Purim deal. And um, perhaps maybe we'll even understand why that's done. Says the Ramah. Hago. We start off with Ramo. Mitzvah laharvus besuda spurim, who besuda achas yoitzim. The mitzvah to be marba in suda spurim and yoitz with on suda. Says the machaber, suda spurim shalso balayla lo yotzi lechagosay. If you make a purim suda at night, you're not. Wow. For nahapachu, you make a purim suda at night, you're not. You're not yoitzer. Um, says the Ramah, Mikom Mokom Gam Belayla Yismach V'yarbek Tzas Besuda. Even though you're not Yaitza, but you should still do it anyways, a little bit. Okay, so I would like to read a little bit the um, Makar of this Halacha, because it's quite strange. There's Mitzvah Harbas Besuda Spurim, a very strange statement and then you yates with one suda then if you do it at night you're not yaitza but you should make it prominent at night anyways so I'm going to read a little bit of the tour in Bess Yosef and then with this I think that what we read right now will have meaning to it Mitzvah Suda Sporim so the tour puts the should have a big suda and you should get drunk. Let's just translate like that as of right now. Okay, so let's start from the second part. It says, and Yomim sounds like the day. You buy that? No. Okay. Could be days. Right. The day starts at night. Oh, correct. How many days in front of the day have two? Yeah, they understand, but the Yemei, we're talking about day part. When it says Yemei, the Chorin we're talking about the calendar day. We're not talking about light and dark. Right? You would have never made this drusha. A lot of drushas that says that when you look at the Pesach and look at what the Gemara says, sometimes it requires... Right, so that's what we're here for. But this is not news to us that the Pesach says something and the Gemara says a drusha and you're like... I think that every time it's news and every time it has to be explored, right? All right, anyways. Um, okay. You have to be knowing like Lel Shabbos. So... The question is, what is what does he mean over here? Now we're going to read. Um, says the dark Moshe on this piece. Gam belayla, 
חייב לשמוח. So it's clear that there is some kind of Indian of Simcha at night. And it's not the halacha that in the day and not the night. It seems like the push is going um, that the Iker should be in the day. S- continue weiter in the Beis Yosef. Kosov Orch Eschayim V'nogu lecho b'lel purim achar atainis zaronim zecher lezaronim shoya oichlim b'beis ha-melech Because Esther didn't know what day it was, or was kosher, so they, she ate these zaronim, which means seeds. Um, uh, next, Kosov Rebbein Rav Osher V'yesh enogu shol lecho b'oser b'laylo Ahu, you should not eat basar on the night of Purim. A lot of halachas about this non suda you understand what's going on over here. Kedei shelo yitu v'yachshu shu suras Purim. Because of Hashem, suras Purim sh'achol b'alayla, lo yotzi yedei chayva. V'yesh mefarshim, what does it mean that you shouldn't, if you eat it at night, you're not yet, so ke'en layla. If you eat it in the dark, you're not yaitza. She'ein avuko k'negdoi derech simcha v'yomtev. This, which it says, this is not a drush sefer, by the way, to be Yosef. This is what it says. This is what it says that if you eat it, balayla, you're not yaitza, doesn't mean when on the on the 24-hour day talking about is talking about you should not do it night like which means with your panas under the table you know you're not supposed to be doing it like that it has to be done in the derech what was the lashon uh yeah okay so um says the I'm reading over here now this is fascinating because we said beforehand we have a Gemara which says Yemei. So somebody over here said maybe Yemei means calendar day. And according to this shot, your question is answered. Because we're not talking about when, we're talking about how. It says this, um, the Ha'ara on the bottom. Um, that this is so for in it says if you have a avuka so it's like it's done in the day He's not willing to accept this. Don't know. Right? We just approach that. Okay? My kasha. Even if you did it in the daytime, but you did it night like, you're not yet. It's a chumrah. There's a very big chumrah. Right? The opposite. No, it's a new shita. We never heard of this. That if you eat it in your closet, someone would be. Um, in Spain, in the times of the Inquisition, and they do their mitzvahs in their closet, so they wouldn't be yet to pour them, because you have to have light. But this is trying to be yet to the ke'en your mother's shita. It's a question of what does it mean to also belayla. So if you say also belayla means means that you can't do it, it has to be done, you need light, so you're not yet to. Okay, because she also a shayna and a raya, 
תלדם לה הלה המייז להבוקה לפי רספורים. ואוי דף שיש מפורשים, מוירים דה עודף ביום, אבל בשעת הדחק, כהי דרב היי, אם עושה בלילה, אם אבוקה יוצא. אבל יוצא ראשון עם יקרוא חזוקה, אקסט שו, מי מור וקציע, ואיזה הול דיסקשן, הלוך על המייז. If one can be Yetzer, the Sudas Purim at night. Now, whatever the Pshat is, I'm not right now getting involved. We're not, none of us are having our Sudas Purim at night. And um, it's clear, at least, that the Yesh Mepharshim understands that there's a certain ambience that has to be there at the Sudas Purim. Now, is that at least such an idea has, has surfaced? Okay. Now, anything to do with like Udemy Sarah and Aisha, like it should be a lot of a lit. Oh, no, don't know, don't know, I don't know. Okay, let's now let's see. Now, the Shulchan Aruch and the Mishnah I think that now it'll be a little bit, um, yeah. Now, I, I just I feel compelled to make the following statement. I was, where was I? Twice this week, I was at the Surah Mitzvah, and somebody was asked if they want to wash, and they said, no, one was Matzah Shabbos. I don't know, there was an, an Avas and there was a Siyum that was made, and um, I asked somebody to wash. So, I didn't say it's Malva Malka because I know there are many people who don't wash from Malva Malka. So I didn't chance that. I said, it's a seal. I said, no, no. <coughs> I'm Eichel. Now, I'm not getting involved right now in uh, that question. How important is it to wash? Very. First, well, Person's having yeah. lunch. It's a, it's a no, I'm talking about when a person is supposed to be having a suda. There's no mitzvah ah. to eat lunch, right? Whatever your mother puts in the lunch box is fine. When you're supposed to have a suda, you're supposed to have a suda. What? What's the upper part of the breast? When the breast takes place, or the suda afterwards? I have a better question. What's the upper part of the suda? Right? <laughs> Much more, I'm more more the Indian than you. <laughs> you you're in the spiritual stuff. Let's the beef, right? That's <laughs> right. Is that the main part? So uh, now the main part of the bris depends what you mean by the main part of the bris. But the suda's bris is is uh, is uh, the suda bris, and the ritual is the ritual. The two different two different aspects. Okay, that's like asking what's more important than Purim to hear the Megillah to eat the suda. What was the time to you? Both. How's that for an answer? Okay? So, I would like to read over here a Shari Tshuva. The Suda's Bris is a Chiyuv. And the Suda's Siyam is who's, also a Chiyuv. Who says the Suda's Bris is a Chiyuv? I assume I'm just fuzzy words now. The word Chiyuv is um, difficult to uh, define because in different situations it has different meanings <coughs> what happens if a person does not make a sudas bris he wasn't makayim something is it a chiyuv no no it says in shulchan aruch it's not it's not, it's not but no it's not everything that we do is what we would call a chiyuv. Machzis a shekel. Shortly you're going to give machzis a shekel. Is that a chiyuv? Nowadays or in the Nowadays. Yes, it says you should give. Okay, all you guys could be lawyers. I have no idea what you said. Because. <laughs> Okay, let's just read. Even though I wasn't planning on doing this simon, but uh, it's in the beginning over here. Here. Um, no. 
What? What do you mean you have to wash? Right? Correct. Correct. So, are you Yoitza that they get married without you washing? <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, okay, here. Um, yeah, well, no, let's just get to the. It's the first halacha in a simon. It's over here. No. Uh, oh, one second. Here. Uh, it starts on Amr Aleph. It's on Amr Aleph. Uh, it's on Amr Aleph. It goes to Aleph. Almond Bays. Where is the Machash? Where is he in there? Uh, I saw it. I saw, I saw it. I think yesterday. Where is it? No. No, no, no. It's not there. It's not there. It's in Purim someplace where it speaks about towards the end it's not in the beginning uh, yeah it says it gives, but it doesn't say it doesn't say the the aloha over there alright it says it there it says it right there also what it's, no it's uh, in, uh, here it is here it is Tafresh Tzadik Dal I looked here 16 times I couldn't find it okay um, what is that? All right, so you're supposed to do things. A lot of things you're supposed to do. That's like the chapas and yom tov meals. The chiyuv to the pamim. Yeah. So the meal on on a bris, it's on the same level, or it's less. Not necessarily. They're the they the the chiyuv is to have a suda. Here the chiyuv is the mitzvah, and the mitzvah brings with it that you should celebrate that you did the mitzvah. It's not the same not the same thing. And, and the one of them, the Suda is the mitzvah. I'll just give you an example. Um, why don't we make a bracha on Kiddush? Huh? And therefore, no, you're right. But therefore, that's that's a third of an answer. Therefore, what? And you're gonna have to make a bracha for a bracha too. How does how does that follow? If you have to make a bracha for every mitzvah, making every making a bracha is a mitzvah. You have to make a bracha for that. No, who we'll said? What second? What second? What second? What second? You just you just cheated. What you said is not is not is not is not is not um, does not follow. Making kiddush is a mitzvah. Now you make a bracha on a mitzvah. Who said that making a bracha is a mitzvah? I didn't say that. Kiddush is a mitzvah. Period. It's done with a bracha. But Kiddush is Kiddush. <coughs> it's not the bracha that's the mitzvah. That's the oif that you do it. Just like l- sitting in your sukkah, it's not eating in your sukkah, it's living in your sukkah. One of the ways that you live in your sukkah is with eating. It's not, it's not, that's, the mitzvah is not the bracha. There are some brachas now. Birkas Kirishma, for example. Yeah, for, for, for Would you yeah. make a bracha on Birkas Kirishma then? I, I, I don't, I don't know that such a mitzvah is Birkas Kirishma. Yeah, where do you know? I, I, I don't know that such a, such a, such a uh, mitzvah is Birkas Kirishma. Birkas Kirishma is either a tefillah or it's a bracha on the mitzvah of Kirishma. I don't know that Birkas Kirishma is a mitzvah. 
it's exactly the point. Right? So the Ritva really asked this question. The Ritva Mtsachim asked this question. And he says, the reason why you make a brach on a mitzvah is so it should be clear that what you're doing is a mitzvah. And you're consecrating it to your Hashem. So if the if you're doing the mitzvah with a bracha, so then this statement becomes superfluous. It has no 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 it's not necessary. We don't need it. The, the, the bracha is just a what we would call any nimuchanum zuman. But when you're anyways in your in your kima mitzvah, you have any nimuchanum zuman, there's no reason to say it. So it's it's it's, it's skipped. Okay? So there are many things there. Are, sometimes the Suda is the mitzvah. Like Suda Shabbos? Like Suda Shabbos. Suda is the mitzvah. And sometimes um, the mitzvah is the mitzvah. And because you did a mitzvah, so you celebrate the opportunity by making a Suda. The mitzvah, the Suda is not a, the mitzvah. A person made a Siyam on Shas. What's the mitzvah? Shas. What's the surah? An expression of a that you're able to make a mitzvah. But it's not a mitzvah and it's also. Now, someone say it's called the surah's mitzvah. Maybe it's even a mitzvah to do it. Who knows? But it's not. When I say it's a mitzvah to do it, it doesn't mean that in and itself is a mitzvah. It's how you, an accessory to a mitzvah that was done. Okay? Um, all right. A bris is uh, is a is a suda on just like a seal. It's a like suda. opportunity that you got to do a bris. That you yeah, it's that you did the bris. Okay. Anyways, so when we say the word chayev, just the word chayev has has uh, I don't get too far away, but it's, it's different different meanings at different times. Um, you know. If not all chiyuvim, that if you don't do them, uh, a person is mechuyev to um, say psukei dezuma. What happens if you didn't say psukei dezuma? You get to tefila. So what kind of chiyuv is that? Shimon, what do you say? You missed your obligation. Yeah, I didn't realize, I didn't end it. No, but what do you say? A person who, you to say right? That's not an option. What happens if you didn't do it? Well, you don't do it altogether. Then you're missing, it's not, you've not done to fill a bishlay mosque. You're missing, like, a body without a limb, I imagine, something like that. I don't, know. I don't think it's that, I don't think it's that, that severe. No. But it's handicapped. You know, it's, I, I like the muscle, it is handicapped. But the tefila is tefila. Tefila is tefila. The chiyu tefila is shona esrei. Then there's a way that you do it. It's executed. You know, the Mishnah Brura says that you're supposed to sing zmiras on your Shabbos table. If you don't sing zmiras, will you get Yes. Why did that come so quickly? <laughs> <laughs> but did you do it right? No. The two things are not uh, okay. So different levels. Anyways, um, so let's go back. I want to read right now the Shari Chuva. I am Birke Yosef. B'shem Echod Kadosh B'Chuva Ksav Yad. Im Osa Suras Purim Beloi Lechem Yotza. Shari Chuva. Oh, Tafresh Tzadikei, I'm sorry. Yoyaitza. What does that mean? Does that, <laughs> yeah, so that means that it, that's what you're supposed to do it? No. 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 The place can say clearly you're, you're supposed to eat bread. What happens if you didn't do eat bread? You're still yaitza. There are people who make a seum, and um, I was by the, not this Siyam Hashas, the last Siyam Hashas, which is like probably 10 years ago, I was invited to see him, and the guy invites me, and he says to me, I'm making a Fleshig Siyam, and you have to come. So I said, why do I have to come? So he says, because you called me a Let's 15 years ago. So I said, I did? 
<laughs> so I, you know, so I said, what happened 15 years ago? I said, 15 years ago, I made a Siyam Ashas. And you t I told you that I'm making a Siyam Ashas and I'm having some Zainus in Shul, you know, after Davani. And you said, that's called a Siyam? You're a Letz. <laughs> that's a Letz. You're making Letzanis out of finishing Shas. You can't make a Siyam like that for finishing Shas, for finishing Hyrius. That's okay, you can do that, right? Seven blot, you know, right? Okay, but you can't. So I made then, I corrected myself and I made a seal. And um, last time I made a seal, and this time, so since you're the one that forced me to make a seal, so I have to come. Okay, okay, but I was, I was very happy that I was matzliach to, to, to drive the point home. Vani omeret ze bemet. Finish Shas and Rogalach and Diet Cola? Bemet? That's Litsonis. That's making Litsonis of learning. So there's a difference right, between finishing Shas and making, like you see in the shields around here, you know, every place when people have the outside, they usually have to dab in. It's a ticket. It's, it's, it's mashwacher. That's, not a, that's, that's not a sort of thing. It's a different thing. Totally different thing. I'll just share with you, just to show you how no, much, you just how to, you understand how much you don't understand yeah. what that is. The Divrei Chaim, on his father's yard site, was so busy learning, he forgot about the yard site. And his father came to him in a dream, and he said, I'm Michael the Kaddish, I'm Michael the Mishnayis, I'm Michael the Tehillim. But no Tikkun? <laughs> I'm not joking. It's an Indian Godel to be Mahana Jews. And I'm not going to get involved right now in what it is. This is not like the Litvaks who say that the Makar for the Tikkun is because they made a Siyum and that's how they pottered the Tainus. There's a Makar to have a Tikkun. For real. Okay? I've never seen anyone bring Mozi for the Tikkun. Because it's not it's not supposed to be a suda. It's not do the seum. It's not a seum. Oh, okay. uh, uh, that's what's confusing. That's because you created this connection in your mind, yeah. and there are other people who've made this connection too. But it's not necessarily so. Anyways, so I'm pointing out over here, and this is very important. The reason why I'm making an issue about this is I believe there are many people who do not wash for their purim suda. Because I can't bench it. That's another problem. <laughs> but that's part of their issue. Kilo. And what about Brocha Chorin? That's okay. Chorin is not bad. It's not bad? It's good. It's not benching. Benching is almost shmona. It's rough. Okay. Um, you want to be Mekayim the Suda. You want to do the Mekayim the Suda properly. So it should be done with washing. And there are people who say, you know, it doesn't go, it doesn't. It. It's it, it. Nobody says on Shabbos, "I'm not going to wash," right? What? Yeah, yeah. Always, there's always problems. I'm just pointing this out. All right. Um, okay. Shabbos is on a higher level. Says the Prichadosh, and I just like to read the Prichadosh over here inside, which we saw before in the Pirish and the Tor. Uber Prichadosh de Belayla, Afilo Avuka Kenegdo La Yatsa. Okay, now we understand what that means. Umashikasa Bes Yosef, Shesh before Shem Kain Laila, Shail Avuka Kenegdo, Haino Af Biom. Okay, Dubai Savo, Avuka Shaino Ofel, Pshita Shain Tsach La Hadlik. The Shraga Betir Mai Mahani. Vani Raisi Chasid Van Shemaisa, Shahoya Yoshim Besudum Achar Milcha, Voya Madlike Neiras Lesmach Bahem. Because it adds ambience. It's not just a question of darkness. When you light up, it's a. Uh, it's a. Uh, makes it Chagigi. I don't know how you say that exactly in English, but that's what it does. Festive. Festive, thank you, yes. And again, I would like to take issue. There are many people that don't 
light candles and their Purim Suda. Because why should I light candles? It's dangerous. If you put them on the the people are dangerous. The candles are fine. <laughs> okay, so so yeah, so you should find a way to do that. I just pointing out. Yes, it's more important to stay alive than to have candles by your Purim Suda. Okay, but I'm pointing out that there's a tzura that is supposed to be done, and people are not aware of it. That's what that's what I'm trying to point out. Now I will just say that the idea of lighting candles in our society really is almost a non-existent thing. People don't really relate to it. But um, that's the proper tzura. tzura. Okay. Um, all right. Now let's see the uh, the mission bureau. Sura achas yaitzim lafuk iman diyom in the chayv lecho gam balayla shal yudalid do me the megillah there's a day in the Gemara that says you have to have two surahs on Purim, one in the day and one at night. As it's going to say, Okay. The Bilal Tazlov, the Vnei Ayar, as Trita, the Kvar, of our Zmano. Yarbak Sasma Suda, Vafil Kishal Yudal, Bavat Shabbos, Vasa Suda, Chashuba, Chashuba, Besuda Shlishis. You may, a Suda Shlishis, you already say, Shayda, we come welcome to Chachla Harbis, Ksas Balayla, Kavit Purim. Ach, ena suda kemola mocher, the shom tzarech lahar bas yeser. The day suda has to be more prominent. Because I heard the nochon lil bosh big day Shabbos, gam kemi ba erev. You should wear big day Shabbos also at night. V'yim tzarecha gam v'beisay neiras dolkois v'shulchan oruch v'mitos mutza. Your house should look yantiftik. What? Like Shabbos. Now I I'm going to say this over. I mention this every year that there's a machlekes um about costumes, and I would just like to explain this nakuda, which I think it's a very important nakuda. The Mishnah in Sukkah tells us that um, on Sukkot they would hang up the shivas haminim in their house. Anybody here? Even like a tzioni, do you know they have like shivas haminim hanging in their house? House no sukkah, yes. Yeah. I said in your house. Wait, they would do this on sukkahs. Uh, on sukkahs in their in the sukkah. In the sukkah. Now I'm asking a question. The rest, of the, year, the rest of the year, do you know anybody who does this in their house? Maybe you have somebody who has like a shivas haminim picture or something. You know, I'm not. But there's nobody who does this, and your house is supposed to look. Mechubad, your sukkah is supposed to look mechubad on sukkahs. So why are you hanging up weird things? It doesn't look any weirder than your kids got in a picture. Okay. So a second. There are those who don't hang those up either. Right? The reason why you hang those up is because of a chinuch issue. Right? Shalom bias. Shalom bias. your wife. Whatever the issue is. <laughs> now, I'm going to answer this question. This question to me is a silly question. If anybody ever went um, to the Mardi Gras, anybody went to a state fair, I don't know, they must have something like that in England, do they? They have like, uh, it, the decorations are all, what? Of the nation. No, but the decorations accentuate what that which you are celebrating Symbolic. what Symbolic. so in your house on that time you will hang decorations that would be non-befitting at another time because you're making your house reflect the Chag that's happening this is Pasha, this is what happens and that's what the Mishnah seems to be saying in Sukkah that on Sukkot it permeates your house. And I know people, just use as an example, I know people that have like tapestries on Pesach that they hang up. Visham the Lava Senu. Right? We even have one here in the shul. Ready for Pesach. Right? <laughs> we, you know, the, the people have such things, they have such things that they hang up because the season demands it. These happy Hanukkah things, people have them in the house on Hanukkah. Why? Why? It's the Messiah. Right? Why do they have them? Because because 
you're, you're chogeg and the chag, you bring it into your home. So even though it's not a, a regal, classical kind of a decoration, but you're doing something which is relevant to the environment that you're being chogeg in. Okay? Therefore, there are some Paiskim that say that even though one should not daven like a clown, even though you're wearing a clown suit, you still shouldn't daven like a clown, but you may daven wearing a clown suit on Purim. Why? Why should the suit be different? The Raptor's coat is on the suit of Purim. You wear your Shabbos clothes. In fact, it properly. I, I I agree with what I said. Well, I don't know what it has to do with what I'm talking about right now. No, but He's saying, oh, okay, okay, if you're davening in a clown costume, you should come to your suit in a clown costume. I didn't say they shouldn't. I didn't say shouldn't. We were discussing right now week before and weekday clothes versus Shabbos clothes. Now we're discussing Custom. costumes. It's a different subject. Yeah, but you wouldn't go to work wearing the bozo nose, right? No. What? I don't know. Okay, so that's a costume is you're right now being chogeg. It's something different going on. So therefore there are some places who say that you're allowed to wear a costume even during davening on, on Purim. Yeah, but this is, this is Beseder. This is Beseder. In other words, uh, I'm going to use. I'm going to say this very from the most moving experiences I think that I ever had here in Eretz was I had to take something to a shop in Talpiot, and I went to Dava Mincha in this ad hoc workman's minion, and all these guys, these Sephardi guys, come in wearing shirts and tank tops, and the guy who's the chazan gets up to the bima. And by the bima, they have leggings and sleeves. I don't know. I don't know exactly what you. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know exactly what what you call those things. And he puts them on and he davens. I thought it was like the most beautiful thing, right? Now the guy Taka looks like bozo, right? No, it's you know it's the etzem. Which way does he look more respectable? I'm not really sure. You understand? He's following the halacha. No, no, I understand. I understand. I'm not. I say I think it's a beautiful thing, but Lamaisa, sort of like missing the boat, right? There's, there's a, there's a. But I think it's a really, it's a really beautiful thing. I was very moved. I was very moved by the, by the thought. I don't know about the execution, but I was moved by, the, by the thought, right? And that's the seder. The guy would never go anywhere as important like that, right? He looks like an idiot, right? And you people know what I'm talking about? I can imagine. He looks like an idiot. Is that any different than mismatched suits? Well, yeah, nowadays. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm not, I'm not, is, is that a style? What is that? No, meaning when somebody does this, it's the same basic concept. It's better that he wears a jacket, even though the jacket is completely... Uh, yeah, I, I'll tell you, I, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll tell you, I'm going to answer that question. In our society, um, the jacket that's worn is worn as a piece of uniform. It's not worn as a piece of clothing. In other words, you would, and I just want you to understand this, never, the way I know of, unless you're like a girl, you would worry about, you know, my coat doesn't match my pants. You don't care if your coat matches your pants or not. You know why? Because you're not wearing your coat as clothing. You're wearing your coat to keep warm. Right? No, there's nothing to do with your pants. It's not not supposed not it's not it's not supposed to match. It's, it's not they're not part of a set. They don't go together. Right? So there are people who perceive their jacket as part of a uniform and therefore they don't see it even as a mismatch. I'm just explaining to you the the that, that's what that's what happens. There are some people who who see it like that. Other people see it as it's taka that you know Avada, Dvorum Kaviyosan, people should be dressed properly like you would go to the Melech. And Avada, in my opinion, it's a double poshet. Whether the person's a policeman, a fireman, a doctor, you should not daven wearing your uniform.
when you daven, a person is a doctor. But wearing that uniform, I call it a button-down shirt. Uniforms also scrubs, not scrubs. Yeah, button-down shirt. I don't know. You know, I can't. I I have to look. I have to look at the Mishnah Bura. See what he says about that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what it looks like. Is it presentable or it's not? He would go somewhere like that. So then he's not wearing a uniform. The side it happens to say your police department on it, but uh, uh, okay, so that's it. If, if he's, if he's, I, I just want to tell you something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end with the following statement. Somebody here in this shul one time tried to corner me, and you should really know you not to, not to bother to try to corner me. And he asked me, is it okay to dob him from an iPhone? Okay, so I said no. So he said why? I said. You understand that a should, person shouldn't stand before God humbly in prayer with six rings of keys dangling from his belt. Saying like, you know, I'm a prominent busy guy, right? That's not, that's not the way you stand in tefillah. The iPhone is the multitask tool. I'm a busy guy. I have a thousand things to do, and one of the things that I have in my iPhone is my sitter. Do you stand before God, davening, with your loose leaf, and pull out the sheet of tefillah? Zelomatim, zelomatim, chose betzurat tefillah. No. He was very unhappy with my answer, <laughs> obviously. <laughs>